It's the guys at brunch, guys at brunch. Back at guys, it's the guys at brunch. Welcome to RadioOnFire.com, home of guys at brunch. And now, here are your hosts, Sean Bradley and Nicholas. Welcome to Guys at Brunch. I'm Sean Bradley. And I'm Nicholas. And today joining us, we have a guest co-host, Nishi. Thanks okay. for joining us. Thank you for having me. So we're going to start off with the Empire drama. So uh, you know the gay guy, on, well, the guy who played the gay guy <laughs> on Empire, um, Jamal, I think his name is on Empire. Yeah. He will not publicly discuss his sexual orientation. And it's a gay character on the show, How to Get Away with Murder. And someone is, you know, he won't even discuss his sexual orientation publicly either. Is that an issue? Um, I, I was about, um, that's my question. Do you think it's an issue? And if they are both gay, or if one is gay, do you think they should come out publicly like no. I'm gay? No, they, because they're in the public. Hell no. I mean, they, that's their personal life. I mean, I mean, Raven Simone never told y'all what it was, but we knew she was snacking. So, I mean, again... No, Raven did say she was gay. No, but she said, no, but it took her a long time. She would go on Chelsea Hill and say, I'm not going to talk about my relationship. I'm not going to put my personal oh, life right. out there. But, you know, once she got her with her yeah, woman, but Jamal, but, she, she then came out. But Jamal on um, Empire, the one who y'all talking about, <laughs> you on Empire kissing these Mexican men, honey, okay? So you might as well just come on out. And I don't see no point in hiding it. I can see... I can see if it was like a straight person playing a gay character and they come on like, you know, I'm not really gay, you know, all that other stuff. But, you know, we know. But the thing we about like it is, them, is we you know open you like yourself up. A lot of people suspect that he's gay, so we don't know for sure now because he never came out and said he is. But a lot of people just sus- think he's suspect. But I think it, like what? if he does come out and say he's gay, maybe he's dating somebody that, does, that doesn't want to be exposed or don't want to have, because he's getting all this attention now and he wasn't, we didn't know who he was before Empire, right? True. Mm-hmm. So he's getting all this attention now. Maybe his partner's like, book, baby, I ain't trying to have paparazzi in our face all the time. So maybe he doesn't, and then they start digging in your dirt and start saying you've been with this person, you've been with that person. We ain't got time for all that. Right. You know. I, I think um, some people saying it would benefit like the you know the um, up and coming gays in the world. They need to see a role model out there to see I other people so. that's like them. But I think in Hollywood, you know, he did just sign a, um, a record deal with, with Capital, Colum- with Cap- Capital Cap- I believe. Ryan. And um, you know, sometimes in your contract, you might can't disclose that type of information. So this is 2015. Oh, you saying it's 2015, but don't you know that it's still contracts like that? And you haven't watched the show yet, but on the show, it's like his real life is becoming I've the role the he first, play on the show. Wait a minute, wait I a minute. The first you, two said, you said you haven't watched the show yet. I've watched the first two episodes. Why are we talking to him? <laughs> <laughs> I've watched the first two episodes. So I know what you're talking about, but however, I don't like to watch shows until the season ends because I can watch it on Netflix as a damn binge and watch it that way. So that's yeah. how I do all my shows. Orange is the New Black is coming back to Netflix. I'm excited about that. Yeah. And and I think sometimes for um like when there's a gay person like playing a um gay character, or if you get in Hollywood, you know straight people don't have to come out and say, oh I'm heterosexual. Exactly. So why do we expect all gay people to come out like That's you know? A good point. Everyone, and just be happy you represented on the damn show. Right, and everyone wanted Queen Latifah to you know I mean she still has to come out and say if she's gay or not. Listen, so. Queen Latifah, I want her to lay down and take a nap. I'm so tired of her on that show. Ain't her show canceled now? Uh, yeah, they're not renewing the own. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Look season. at the Lord. But we already knew that Queen Latifah was snacking anyway. So, I mean, it, it's, it's like, why we yeah, why Queen we Latifah be getting hard? down for a minute? Yeah. Right, but people be like, Big you know, Dana. People want, you to, <laughs> people want them to come out. So, they say it will help, like, the young, you know, the LGBT community. So, we can see people in Hollywood that is just like us. But again, when we turn but, on the TV, we want to see people like us and like, feel you know, but that's kind of hypocrisy there because think about it remember Perez hypocrisy. Hilton was, yeah, would, would draw everybody's ire because he's outing people and your your story is your own personal journey your own personal situation if I don't want to come out you might you might say yeah Sean I punk all but day long but if who? I don't want to tell you I don't need to tell you I tell you when I want to tell you and, and when somebody say well you, it would be better for the community for these youngsters to see you know what you're right but it, it might benefit the community if they came out on their own but definitely don't out someone if they're not ready to be outed if they're not ready to discuss it why would someone out but, but, but what you're saying is almost like putting pressure on them what I'm saying, I'm saying it couldn't be beneficial. I'm not saying that they should or they shouldn't. I think everyone should come out personally when they feel they should. So once you come out, you know that you're ready to handle what's going to come your way. You know, if it's positive or negative, and this will be a little of both. I mean, it just sure. it's timing is everything, and you got to and first for first for one thing, you got to be comfortable with yourself. So mm-hmm. once you come to with yourself and you fully love who you are, then to hear what everybody else, hear what your mama thing, hear what your daddy thing, hear what your grandma thing. 
Hell, whatever they bam down thing, they, they ain't dicking you down that night. So who the hell cares? Mm. I don't want to talk about that. Right. <laughs> we all right. <laughs> right. So we're gonna take a quick break, and we'll be right back. Do you have a business, product, or event that you need to promote to men and women ages 23 to 44? If so, Radio on Fire can help you do it with one of our promo packages. Our broadcasts reach over 150,000 people per month. Sponsorship for one or all of our radio programs can include live mentions, social media posting, commercials, and more. Visit RadioOnFire.com slash advertise to find out more about a promo package that fits your needs. Rates start as low as $50. If you want to reach men and women ages 23 to 44, log on now. RadioOnFire.com So, one of the bills hit me up and asked me, she's a trans woman, she asked me, do I think that T is silent at LGBT? So, I wanted to ask a couple girls who's trans, do they think that T is silent at LGBT? Do you think that T is silent? Explain for me, what do you mean by the T is silent? Like, it's not a rep- enough of representation for a trans women. Like, you know, it's called gay pride, but you, mm-hmm. um, trans women aren't gay. So, should, should they have a trans, um, or should it be like a LGBT pride instead of gay pride? Should we call it that instead of I, gay I, pride? I definitely think it should be LGBT pride instead of gay pride I mean it's it's not really a big see listen here listen this is how I am I really don't give a shit but <laughs> I'm looking at it like this cause some people don't want to some transgender people just don't want to accept the fact that they gay they get this thing in their mind where they figure you know if I'm a transgender female like myself oh well you know I'm not gay um, I've had this surgery and I've had this I'm no longer gay no ma'am yes you are you're transgendered, and you're trans means you transitioned from one gender to the next. So you you consider yourself as being gay? I'm gay. Oh, you know, I most trans women I meet, they say they consider themselves as trans woman or um a female. Or, I mean, it's or, the same thing. Trans, you still gay? <laughs> right? But gay is usually attracted to the same <laughs> sex and um more like physical. Like trans woman, from my understanding, is someone who feel like they was born in the wrong body. Listen. So if you feel like you were born in the wrong body, you I, you don't consider yourself gay because you're not like attracted you to You can feel physical. all you want. But reality is reality. Now listen, I'm not trying to offend nobody. Okay? They can take it how you want to take it, but But what do you consider yourself? A I'm a trans uh, I'm, you, I'm a transgendered yourself, woman. Right, but you I have transitioned. I'm gay. transitioning from one gender to the next. Even when I get my gender reassignment surgery. I'm still gonna be a transgendered woman with the pussy. Can I say that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah but so, but you, but but why not just a gay woman or a gay? Because that's not man. what I am. But you say you consider yourself gay. Because I'm gay. That's, I think to me, to me, Nick, it's like you're trying to force your. Understanding I'm asking her, her because I'm like, sure this is what the viewers gonna say. Because ninety percent of trans how she women consider themselves. I'm asking yeah. her for the viewers, not yeah. for me. So I'm, just, I'm asking her for them, not me. I'm, I'm, I'm saying that the questions that I ask on this show is not always my opinion on how I right, feel. Right, I right. just know other people are okay. gonna say this. Like these questions that I ask, um, that I, I'll ask you something. They I ask a couple um females on Facebook, right? And um, we'll get to um some of them, but we ain't get to all of them yet. But um, before we get sidetracked, I wanted to know what it's like being a trans woman. So like, when did you first know? That, that I wanted to transition? Yeah. Or did, did, you, did you ever feel like you were in the wrong body? And I'm going to be honest. I never felt like that. Okay. I never felt... I ne- and, and, and a lot of people have different... Listen. Everybody <laughs> had their own story. Like you say, everybody had... The- Some girls felt like they was born in the wrong body. Uh, this ain't me. Somebody, they had traumatizing stuff. Some mm-hmm. people was molested. Some people... Whatever the case may be. I never felt as though I was born in the wrong body. I knew I was gay. I knew I was attracted to boys, mm-hmm. and I um, I think it was a high school. Like the whole thing was wearing long so braids. What, what made you want to do your transition if you didn't feel like you were in the wrong body? When I when I I started out just playing in drag, just coming out as a gay person in the community, just learning stuff, meeting people, okay. and I met um I met I seen a couple other transsexuals, and I was like, oh, yes, 
you know, I like, like, that's really a, I say, that's a boy. And they say, well, you know, it's a transsexual. I say, oh my gosh, she is beautiful. And I said, I want to be beautiful too. Like, I want to be pretty. And I went back and forth. Some, I went back and forth. I never, I never knew. I, I was young, so I didn't know nothing about hormones and nothing like that. So I was just slapping on the wig, child. It went, you know. <laughs> Look at <It> Buster. Went, <laughs> I mean, it was 5 o'clock on a 10 o'clock hour. I mean, it wasn't that good. Do you good. feel like you're a female, like a lady? Like, I, feel I know like, you look like one. You're I feel like, female. But, I feel like I'm but, a transgendered woman. Okay. And I feel as though, and I feel as though that's who I am. Now, you may ask the next transgendered woman if mm -hmm. she's a transgendered woman. She say, no, bitch, I'm a girl. <laughs> and then you can think, think, think what you want. Okay, then she can think what she want. I know what I am. I know I'm a transgendered woman. Okay. All right. And I'm comfortable with it. But my, I, and I hear what you're saying, and I'm not trying to force my opinion on no, you. No, it's okay. But for me, it's like if you put woman at the end, you, do you feel like a woman? Like, did you? How old were you when you wanted to start transitioning? Um, in high school, I'm telling my age. Um, listen. So uh, like I was a good. School? I was in high school, oh. ninth grade. Oh, okay. No, my mother died in ninth grade. I say eleventh. 11th grade. 11th grade. So around like 16. Be, but, but, I was, yeah, but I was doing it and then I would stop. I was doing it. I would stop. I was doing it. I would stop. I was just going through for like, oh, like, like that shit ain't for me. But do you, are you, you find yourself dating more gay men or do you find yourself dating like straight men, whatever or they call it? Mean on the trade. Mean on the DL. Um, I find boat. myself dating anybody who ain't a bum. <laughs> Okay, but what is Reggie it's, though? It's slim, but, a, a bum. But what was Reggie? That was back then. Now you're not gonna do this. Oh. Now you're not you gonna do this. Just, uh, explain to the audience that Reg, Reggie had a, a woman, a, a real woman, right? No, and, but he, he had you. Reggie was bisexual. Okay, and and after we broke up, he went to a right. you know a biological female, which is fine. We ain't together. But then we got back together, and she had to come into the harsh reality with. That mother is here. <laughs> so now, like, but, so you you say you find yourself dating anyone who's not a bum. I find myself dating. I find, now that I'm older, I'm 31. Yes, <laughs> I find myself dating. I find myself dating anybody who's not a bum. Anybody who is what I'm attracted to. And what what is that? I'm attracted to masculine men. Now I don't want nobody sashaying down the runway. Voguing in my heels. Okay. Okay, that ain't what I like. <laughs> now I like to be a man. Okay. <laughs> but if you're a little feminine, listen, I we might could work it out. I don't think so because you dated a trans man before and and good they, night. They gotta be hard. <laughs> <laughs> they gotta be hard. You know. Listen, and yes, I did. I did. Now what? I did it. I dated a trans man before, but he was very, you know, he was masculine. One time he hit me in my head. I said, I forget. I said, wait a minute. I forgot what was going on. But yeah, I did. So when you started transitioning, how was it like to find employment for you? Uh, you know what? And my name had, my name wasn't even changed. Um, I think I come up, I think I'm a person where, and I'm not being um, cocky, but I feel like I demand respect. Like, so I was even before my name was changed, you know, you're gonna address me as Mia. Okay. Um my now my check stub may say something else. <laughs> no, but I'm saying as far as like going into oh, seek okay. employment. It, like how was it? I, I would have I would have no, I it wasn't it it wasn't hard. Actually, it was not hard. I always had a job. Okay. I always had a job. It was not hard at all. Okay, that's great. <laughs> now when you were what, I'm a hustler. Like when you was um, be working at your um, mm -hmm. job, wherever. What's like? Would they let you allow you to use the females' restroom or the men's restroom? You know what? I used the females' restroom. I couldn't dance. Stop. Look at me. Well, now, <laughs> but when All I, right. but tell them look at you. <laughs> <laughs> Back then, I used the females' restroom as well. But you know what? Sometimes I find myself if if I know we're handicap. When I used to be a manager at Target, I would go to the handicap bathroom. Especially if it's crowded, a lot of um, traffic. I don't want no trouble. But that was back then. Now, you know. All right. Now, I know you say, like, you wanted to be, like, one of the pretty ladies that you would see, like, the transgender woman right. who you would see around in Baltimore. Um, did you feel pressure to look like them, like, with the big boobs and the big butt? No. I never wanted to be overly surged or I never wanted to be animated. I just always wanted to be Mishi. 
I always wanted to find myself. I like to find. I like what works for me. You know, one day I got purple hair, one day I got you know long blondes. And I just like to do me. And I think a lot of Baltimore girls are like a lot of Baltimore girls just want to be regular and and ease on into society. Right. I see that now more so with um I say like the the trans younger generation. Oh, but, definitely. But like early on, I'm sure you see a lot of girls that maybe yeah. have really big butt, really big boobs. Yeah. Or sometimes. Some might consider over surge. Yeah, but the surge ain't like it used to be. Right, but I'm just saying, like, because when you was coming up, I'm saying back then. Yeah, they was, it yeah. was like that. Fat you know? to the back. I was jealous. <laughs> I was mad. And I, you know, I wasn't hitting on nothing in the back. Right. So, how is dating for a trans woman? Um, now, yeah. you know what? You got to be aware of, I don't like using this term. I'm not even going to say it. No, use the it. The tranny chasers. Okay. You got to be aware of tranny chasers. But then I don't like saying train chasers because you know what is a training chaser for people that don't see. Know. That's what I'm saying. All right, a training chaser is kind of like is is a guy who just mess with every single trans girl and 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 in in one hood, one in Baltimore City. Every every time you turn around, you go on Facebook, you go on his Facebook profile, you got. <laughs> 80 mutual friends all them trannies you know he been in all 80 inbox like where did you find a tranny <laughs> chaser I, I oh my god i hate to use that terminology I hate it. but i, I know hate it. some girls find that offensive so i apologize oh but yeah i don't like i don't i don't, who I don't chase after women like yourself right yeah because i don't like the word tranny too much either but i say it because you know that's what it's right but in, i'm not trying to offend nobody girls if y'all offended good night right so what would you find like a man who like a woman like yourself um there's a lot of web websites or you know i meet guys like i'm sure because just walking down the street these days it's you know they just walking up to you what's up oh you said this website so they are apps like for um girls like yourself no they're, they're not they're they're i'm pretty sure there are apps for transgendered women or men who like transgender women but on any regular dating site oh any regular tag, but you ain't got that problem tag right. yeah <laughs> okay what okay. call them are you there but tagged, I think it's one called Badu. Um, it's a you know, y'all up on there, you know, get and, on there. You say like walking down the street. So like, how, how soon would you do you tell them like you know your, well, your, your tea as people would say? Well, I have no shame admitting because I feel as though there's different types of trans girls, you know, throughout their transition. Okay. Um, if you don't already know I'm transgendered. You know, I had a situation where I had to tell people in that situation where, of course, they already know. It's not a big deal to me because I'm secure on who I am mm -hmm. and my look. Um, so, if I am if I meet a guy, I'll text him. You know, you know I'm transsexual, right? He would say, yeah. You know, I know. Or, no, like, I didn't. You know, but I, I, I text it. I'll okay. text it right after okay. we leave. Okay. So, yeah, when we say um, the people who chase after women like yourself, mm -hmm. we know a lot of well, I hear a lot of um, girls like yourself, they say shake their purse for the guys and then like take care of them. <laughs> uh -huh. So like usually the guys who chase after women like yourself, are you known like to like shake your purse for them? Do I shake per my purse? Right. Or like your girlfriend, you and your girlfriend. Yeah, who, who yeah. Listen, I'm not shaking. expect that from you? Do I'm not shaking that? shit. But my ass. Wait, 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 wait. Shake purses. What are we talking about? Shake purses like we trying to take care of a nigga. Oh, you, yeah. You taking care of him. Yeah, yeah, he taking care. Yeah, you taking care of him. Oh, hell no. Yeah. I ain't shaking nothing but my ass. Do they expect that a lot when they date girls like you? Listen, a lot of guys are users out here, especially in Baltimore. There's a lot of bums out here. So they might don't come off. They might not say, you know, they keep buying me and paying them, them Jordans. Mm -hmm. But guess what? They at your house every day, every night, right. eating your food, ain't paying and bill, ain't doing nothing but giving you a dick and a good morning smile. That's a user. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Do they expect that from women like yourself? Yeah. And like when, when if you. <laughs> yeah, not all of them, but yeah. Okay. And when you run into guys like this, do you. And they say, oh, I, I'm, I know your girlfriend. Do you like ask her, like, oh, what will what, what he about? If I. If I. Okay. That's a good. That's a good one. If I meet a guy and I and my first thing we talking, I'm like, yeah. So listen, how many other girls, you know, you dealt with? He like, you know, I was doing a couple. Okay. So what's their name? All I ask right, them that. Cross reference. I ask them what's their name, and if I hear a name, I know. Like, or, or let's say if I hear, 
Just say because it. I know all the girls in Baltimore. I don't want to say Nangas and it's trying it. Um, let's say I know. Um, <laughs> damn, I can't say it. Yeah, it's Shakrisha. And he said, "Yeah, I must have Shakrisha, Lakia, and all this other stuff." And um, I'd be like, "Oh, I know Lakia, but I don't really know her like that. I don't pay no mind because I ain't gonna hit up on if she my Facebook friend. I don't know her. I ain't gonna hit her up like, girl, what's the tea on neck? Mm-hmm. But if I, if it's like one of my home girls, and I'd be like, um, y'all y'all had socks. He'd be like, no, but oh yeah, I can't get with that. Mm-hmm. I can't. I can't do it. Okay. That's just me. But don't you? Do you find it hard to like find new guys that haven't had yep. someone? But I don't care. I, I skip them. Skip I them? ain't pressed. Okay. <laughs> do most guys who chase after you are they usually? <laughs> I, I guess I can say DL because and they are in like relationships with um, yep. women. Yeah. Yeah. Soon, I, soon I ask a guy, uh, "Do you have a girlfriend?" They say yes. I say good night. <laughs> I don't, do that. I, don't do, I don't do that. I don't do. I don't do. What? Come on, no. man. I don't do that. I, I, that's why I think when you said something about the TV and silent and trench, if, if if you well, I, if you don't hold yourself to a high, if you don't think you're worth nothing, you're going to get treated like nothing. I, I, I hear you. I hear what you're saying, but um, with, with the TV and silent and LGBT, I mean, it's still not enough people out there and we don't have things for them because some don't. people don't consider themselves as gay you know? right so you considering yourself gay the g would represent you that's good enough for you but for some um ladies like yourself that's not good enough for them and they want their own prize and they want their rights like we get you know well, like i want extra max sauce on my fucking get. mcdouble but <laughs> <laughs> I mean, certain stuff you're just doing too much but, for. But do we all deserve? A, but I mean, but, civil but, but to, to the G thing though, because it says gay pride and it's LBGT, right? So there's there's no bisexual pride, there's no lesbian pride. So to me, gay covers it all, right? No, In my opinion, because but, th- no, because gay covers gay. Uh, so bisexual what, so, cover bisexual. So the lesbians been left the show, out. The show that we're doing today is about transgender. I know, but I'm saying no, but so all of them been left out. I now. agree. I think it should be LGBT pride, or they should have a bisexual pride. They should have a trans pride and a gay pride and a lesbian pride because they all. How can you love everyone that's up doing in the too same much. Much. That's the, I'm with Is you. it doing too much? Let me, let me ask a question. It, but right. let me just oh, ask oh, one oh, thing: boy. Is it doing too much <laughs> when gay people? Gay people, we get them together and get the gay pride together. Why can't trans women and men come together and get trans pride together as well as bisexual people and lesbians? They because come together we're all under one umbrella. Own, no, I don't think it's too much. I think that it should be done so everyone can feel included. I'm, I don't like for other people to feel I not included. I don't think they're excluded from the gay pride. Do you think that? No. You know that right? She considers herself gay. I mean, other the trans women don't consider themselves do you think the gay. Trans- and they delusional. <laughs> <laughs> people looking at this who fighting for rights for trans not to be lumped into gays will say the same thing about you. Once he gets, I'm telling you, maybe yeah. oh, oh, it's, a, right it's a man. It's a man speaking. Well, it's all right. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> okay, so uh, th- this is for me. What is the difference between um, a woman who's gay and a lesbian? A woman, because if there's some, I, I I missed it. Well, gay, you see, it, <laughs> what? Yeah, a gay woman and you say like gay lesbian, gay, like so. No, it's it's a man. LGBT. So L the gay has to lesbian. be a man. L stands for lesbian. Gay stands for gay men. Normally, if you say someone is gay, you're talking about two men. If you say someone lesbian, of course we're talking about women. So some lesbians have a problem with gay also referring to them uh, as gay so that's why they, they have but that's but that's why they oh, have the hell. l but that's when you start that's splitting. why you have the l that's the g and the t and all of in that's the when you start splitting hairs and stuff too but because right it's, it's but why isn't it just because the gay me, community is lgbt for a reason because everyone wants to clearly. be included okay yeah i, I, yeah, I, no, let's, yeah, I, I get I the part that it should be lgbt yeah. community the L, i get that it should be lgbt pride but what i'm saying is how can you not think that you know what not say it say it how say can it, you damn. not think how can you say that if you're a lesbian and you're gay you're two okay so by saying if you're gay gay is associated with two just two men it's a could be associated all the fucking want a, a dove is a dove and a duck is a duck <laughs> quack fucking quack bitch you gay <laughs> Well, in your yeah, opinion, yeah, yeah, in your opinion, yeah. <laughs> but I'm just a lot of I'm people confused. don't feel like you. A lot of people. I mean, and, and I get it, but then that's their own feelings. That's not reality. But, but their own feelings. But when someone reality. says their own feelings, should they not be included? If enough people are saying I you have a problem included. with this, shouldn't we try to change? My that? thing is this right here. I think. Oh no. I think I what think, it is I is mean, gay is gay to uh, a, when a gay people had a problem with gay merch and um straight people's like, why do you want to get married? We fought for it and we got it here in Maryland and a lot of other states. So should they say, oh, I want cheese on my McDouble. So 
forget your gay rights. So, but then should it be transgendered marriage and then lesbian marriage? Should we be fighting for each marriage? No, you just said it. Oh, definitely. Lesbians can. <laughs> but it's under gay marriage, right? <laughs> lesbians are not trans. <laughs> I say, you, when it comes to L and lesbians, you can be referring to them, but they have a problem with that. So maybe that will become an issue for them, and they will fight for it. Like, I want to be just clarified when you say this. But I'm saying trans, you know, if you get married, like, can, you know, that's the issue. But I it's think, gay marriage. But I think, I think on a lot right? of... It's I think, gay marriage. That's I think true. Be. Well, that's right, saying, so, but so most they trans accept people the gay, don't feel like... They'll go under the gay marriage. But if it's a parade, no man. I need my mother no, fucking out. I, I'm gonna right. need you to get yeah, married. When you get married, I'm saying <laughs> if, if, you, if your sex ain't changed, you're still under the sex that you don't identify as. So that's what it's no, 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 that's not true. My ID says F. Yeah, All right. F. Yes. But when you get married, my you have to bring your, your. Did you get your birth certificate and your social security yes, change? Yes, sir. Because I know Can that's a lot of red tape, and no, most girls not. don't do that. Listen, no, it's not. Why these girls is lying talking about it's hard to get your name changed? No, it's not. But the it's, same it's, doctor, your, your that name you, change is a little bit different than getting your but um, listen, a new the birth same certificate doctor, and a new social security number. When you get your birth certificate, all you gotta do is take the affidavit that you got your name changed and stuff and take it up there. You get your new birth certificate. And when you get your F on your ID, all you gotta do is take your letter from your doctor saying that this person right, is gonna come on top of this. I know it's not that difficult. These girls are lazy. Okay, <laughs> they just want to walk around and look like Kelly, and their name is Kevin. Let's just call it what it is. They lazy. Well, what is the process for like getting your birth certificate? Because I know like and your name change is not that difficult. It's I know free. name changes and and it's free and like name, I, I volunteer in different for states. In different states, it's, it costs money. But in Baltimore, my stuff was free for your your social security and your birth certificate. Everything, okay, free. But you should put information on your own Facebook about that because a lot of mind you, my gender that. reassignment I just posted on Facebook because you know it's covered under your insurance now. Free. <laughs> That's and great. I, didn't I even, and, a lot and, of people and I got an appointment and I just talked to the doctors. You can get your top surgery, your breast implants under your Medicare too. Oh really? Free. That's great. <laughs> I don't think a lot of people know this, though. Yeah, but that's why I wanted to do a show like this to, to you bring got, you got information to get your to lazy, them. procrastinating asses up. Stop. You know what? If they, I'm not even going to say what I was going to say. No, say it. No, ma'am. Because it's going to be a lot of hate mail. And no, I don't want well, y'all girls coming knocking anyway. on my door. It's coming to you. You think it's coming? No. Well, y'all can come on and get a piece of mama. I got you. Y'all no, can come get a piece of I got of you. Day. Okay. If you stop so focusing on... Say it. Mm. Say it. Say it, damn. No, ma'am. You know I'm how we do here. You know how we do. If you stop focusing on the wrong stuff that you're doing and focus on getting yourself together and doing the right, you'll be a better person and you can get more proactive in your transition. Right. And when you say focusing on... you like on that one? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> when you say focusing on the wrong thing, do, do you mean like what? I'm not saying nothing. No, I mean, is you talking about as far as like sex workers versus a nine to five girl? I mean, listen, then you said it, not me. No, no, that was my next question to you. Like, um, is it like a, a battle between like, you know, do <laughs> do nine to five girls look down? The have or have nots. Girls? It's the yeah. have or have nots. Yeah, yeah. Do, I they, mean, do they look down on women? I, like I, I, I don't, I, I'm not sure because I really, honestly, I really don't have too many. I Street know walkers. I, too many. Home, no, you said it, not me. Street walkers. Right. I have a lot. I, I don't deal. I have a couple homegirls that's transgender. But I know a lot of the girls. You know, it's a right, thing. you know right. a lot of people, but then you really deal with, they know my number, they can call me. It's only about two. It's only okay. two. Two transgender girls. And, um, listen. What everybody else do is their business. What I'm saying is, I ain't doing it. No, but I'm saying, like, you know the girls, so I'm saying, do you find it that the 9 to 5 girls do look down on the, the sex workers? I mean, this Baltimore City, <clears throat> I, homeless people look down on me. Everybody look down on me. <laughs> I mean, so probably, probably not. Right. I bet they ain't fussing about who, who if it's LGBT pride or gay pride, I tell you that. You saying the sex workers? Any of them. I don't some think anybody them, is. Some of them do. I'm sh the lady who we talked about on the way over here, <clears throat> I mean, do you think she wasn't out there before? And she she got you sucking dick on the street, but you complaining about if the <clears throat> it's time for a break. <laughs> oh. So, what, but what about like um the passable girls versus the clockable girls? The passable girls are the girls who can fit in with regular society, and people won't look twice at them and not you know they won't think that they're a trans. You know what? These days, I think do you think they look down on? Yeah, I think so. But but you know what? You gotta be confident. You know what? This 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 life right here. This ain't this ain't for the weak. 
I mean, and mm-hmm. I'm just gonna keep it real. Now, and I'm not saying particular people, but that's why a lot of girls end up committing suicide because it's a lot. It's a lot of pressure. You you got pressure from my family. I got to deal with my family. So you say I got like, family. I got to deal with coming outside. Right. When, I got to deal with guys saying certain stuff right. to me. I got to deal with females. When you say that it's not for it's it's not for the weak. Do you I'm, mean like you know like we were talked about that on the way over here too? Like a trans woman. I think was it last last night? Yeah. yeah. L- committed suicide so do you are you saying like the people who can't handle it are you saying that they weak individuals no life like, is hard I'm already saying, i'm just saying it's hard yeah. you gotta be a, you gotta be you gotta hold on you gotta be a, you gotta be strong you're not saying strong like testosterone girls but you just gotta be <laughs> you know you gotta be strong i mean life is hard already as it is, is and, then you and, add then that top, and then i'm black i mean let's just keep it real and i'm a transsexual no, I'm and so- i'm actually out here trying to work <clears throat> And do some stuff. And I don't want to sell my body. It makes people want to gravitate to doing that. And once you get out here on these streets and you doing that sex work and stuff, then you got a whole other thing. You got to worry about the crazy motherfuckers. The drugs. You got to worry about the... Okay. You got to worry about the rapists. You got to worry about the people that got sick fetishes for transgender women that want to kill them. Every 29 hours, a transgender person is being killed. For whatever reason. But what I'm saying is, don't make your... um Not... Don't make your chances higher. Well, how do you make it higher? That's what I'm saying. By being on the streets. Basically saying by being on the street, you know, you're, you're more apt yeah, to. But I, think, yeah. I, think, I think now the girls can say that, kind of say that. But I think when you go back years ago for like the girls that might have came out before you even started transitioning, mm-hmm. they didn't know anything else. So that's a culture for you're them. Right. That's a lifestyle. So well, yeah, times were definitely and, 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 and when they and when these and a lot of young girls look up to these girls, so they pull them in and they're like, "This is the way. This is what trans women do." You're so right. they get sucked in and brainwashed. Like this is the only way I can make a living. So I think that's how a lot of people get caught up in the being streetwalkers. But yeah, again, right. too, times like I say, it's very hard out there because they were probably discriminated against back then too. They try to get a nine to five job. Oh, you can't come up in here, damn it! You mm-hmm. a man? You can't come up in here trying to be a woman. You right. gotta go. And you gotta that's feed. Still you gotta going eat. On now. We'll yeah, it's yeah. still it's still going on now. Right. I've never had a job do me like that and and i and i know i ain't the most passable without a shadow of a doubt real as rain and i'm fine and, and you know everybody has a point in their transition where everybody has growth but i know and i accept the fact that i'm a very pretty transgender woman but what i'm saying is i've never had that issue mm-hmm. now i'm not i'm not they might say this bitch might whip my ass or something <laughs> but i'm just saying you know i think it's a you got to be confident in it. I mean, you know, you, you got to demand gotta, respect. Basically. You got to carry yourself a certain way because even the most passable girl, even the most passable girls get clocked. Let's just keep it real. You, and I can tell you, sometimes they <laughs> they clock real females and think that they men. Hello, good or, evening. Or, or trans women. Yes, Lord. It's a lot of strong when you do too biological much. women or, out here. Right, it, it, not even if being strong. Sometimes they be like, "Oh, you too pretty to be a real woman." They say that to some girls. Yeah, definitely. Yes. I mean, and my cousin was, my cousin is a pretty definitely. young lady. And that's what they would say to her. Like, something's wrong. You ain't real. Yeah. You ain't a real woman. But um, do you, like trans women, I know a lot of trans women say that um, they don't like, like, um, people who get up in drag and might go out there and walk the streets or try to pick up dates mm-hmm. or pick up men. They say, like, they doing it for the attention. And, you know, they say, like. They look down on those people who do that. Do you? Some girls, some girls, well, from what I'm told, some girls, you know, they they read. They say, you know, they only don't hear, you know, to do that and have fun. Because I think it's fucking up their money or something. <laughs> right. I think it's messing. I don't know. Right. What you think about the um, people who get up in it just for attention and to get trade or whatever? Um, listen. If that's <clears throat> what you want to do, as long as you ain't stepping no mo- near my man. I'm, I'm real that's that's your business <clears throat> are you dating right now i am can you divulge a little bit what you want to know like where you meet him at um i met him at the gas station do he consider himself gay or is... now i don't know what he considered himself mm-hmm. but i know what you are <laughs> what you are i know reality <laughs> i'm saying but y'all don't have to, y'all never had that conversation that she's you know no I mean, I don't. I, I never had the conversation because okay. I know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> you still like females? You attract females? You bisexual? Okay. He ain't on no low. He ain't on the low. You know, nothing like that. I don't do no DL, honey. I'm meeting. You know, 
now I don't want to meet nobody's family after I went through the whole situation with my ex and all. I'm over the whole meeting the family thing. Plus, I'm older. Mm -hmm. So, but you know, if I want to go out, I'm going to go out. Mm -hmm. Some of the um, trans women say that the gay guys, and they say heterosexual, like biological women, are jealous of them. Do you see that? <sighs> Listen, <clears throat> it's a lot of females that have issues with some transgender women. Yes, they are. A lot okay. of females out here. But it's a lot of everybody that got issues with somebody. Right. Somebody ain't going to like somebody. But yes, there are a lot of females that have issues with transgender women because they feel like, you know what I hate? You trying to be me. You, you trying to. That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm, okay. I'm being me. And, and I, don't, I, never say, I don't say I'm born... Uh, I'm, I'm born, I got this pussy shush to the back. I don't see none of that. <laughs> I'm a transgendered woman and I'm very proud of it. So please don't get me mistaken right. with your ass. And what about for like the gay men? Do you find that they... Gay men, actually, gay men have some type, you know, they, they got a problem with trans, transsexuals <laughs> too. They got a problem with transsexuals too. Some of them, not all of them. Because some of them is just, you know, girls, you know, trannies trapped in a, a man body. And they mad because it couldn't work. Okay. Do yeah, they I, uncomfortable? I, I asked a couple um um girls like yourself on mm -hmm. Facebook, and um one of the responses we got, I asked her, do she think that um gay guys, you know, are jealous of them? And um she said yes, and her name is Kamora Stanfield. She said yes because we can have any man we want. And I don't that believe was, it. That was that was her um response. Oh, that well, that's see, that's that's her response. Yeah. I ain't got nothing to do with her response. Okay, it's um it's still going. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. okay. Okay. My okay, but yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. Like, I mean, maybe she's gotten some people that have probably been uncomfortable. She's maybe, a really pretty girl. But, <clears throat> I don't know. So she might can get anybody. She but, might, and I'm mean, not saying she lying. But why would a gay man try to compete with a trans transgender? I'm not. Trans, now he didn't say it's compete. not about competing. Yeah. But, but that, as far as the jealousy, hate. before as jealousy wise, I mean, we we ain't offering the same thing. So I mean, I, there's no competition. It's like me getting jealous of a woman. Why would I get jealous of a, a biological woman, as you would say, when we don't offer the same thing? Because they feel like the trans women get the men, the trade, the masculine men that they Ain't want. Ain't no That's trade what, out here no more. So girls, no masculine public gay service man. announcement for any girls in Baltimore City. Ain't no more trade out here. Okay? They all butch queens up in trade. They, they lies. They ain't no trade out here. Everybody <laughs> having everybody. Ain't no trade out here. We talked about <laughs> trade, um, I think, two episodes ago. What's your definition of trade? Nothing. Nothing? There ain't no trade out here. There's no such thing to you. Mm-mm. Oh, there ain't no trade on here. But what was it the used old to definition? Be. It used to that, be some good that people would like the old girls would. Say it would definition. be probably a a, a a a DL nigga or a nigga that's like verbal masculine who you wouldn't think messing around, but then he, you know, he dipping off on the side or whatever, something like that. Right. But see, Nicholas thinking somebody that hadn't had sex, right? You think somebody? No, hadn't had sex? I agree with her. I I'll, say that is. I say your trait until you experiment. Once you experiment with a trans woman or a a, a, a gay guy. Then you're not trade anymore. But see, she said, she said yeah. it's trade because they still dipping off. No, she said she don't think it's a such thing as trade. Yeah, I don't think. No, but the old definition, the old definition is basically a trade. You saying a, a, a straight guy that was dipping off, a supposedly straight dude that's messing around. Yeah, with, right. So right. no, well, well, well yeah. wait, no, so, but, I think we basically yeah, same thing. somebody that's mask that's really masculine, you know, hood could right. be hood nigga, could be whatever the case may be, but somebody who just don't. Put their business out there and he real he don't let nobody know about okay, case thing. You know, that's kinda like what trade used to be. Ain't no trade out here no more. You sound like you missed the trade. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I miss the real niggas. Bring back our boys. Right. But you know, a, a lot of girls have a problem with the trade because they say the trade will have sex with you in the dark, but disrespect you in a light. But if you let someone do that, if you let them do it. Or they say you would just be that in-house woman, meaning like you don't, they only come over at night or something. Then that's what you deserve. If you let somebody treat you like that, that's what you deserve. Mother, I don't play them type of games. Right. Soon as I soon as I meet a guy, he start talking that first of all, we're going to go out. Mm -hmm. Okay? When you came when you came and got me in, you know, he you know, met, my friend was there and he laughed. That's like our fourth fifth time. You know, you can come over. Mm -hmm. You ain't straight coming to my house. We're going to meet up at Chipotle, get us a burrito bowl or something. Meet me at Olive Branch, maybe get a little crab cake dip or something. We're going to go somewhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we can work on coming to my house. Because you got to be careful out here. Right. You got to be careful. Right. Okay. So for any up-and-coming girls that's maybe watching this, 
tell them how did you what did you do like the um um that you take to look so womanly i think <laughs> thank you <laughs> i think that you should moan drink water wait wait moan Take home on. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, what the hell, moan? I'm like, wait a minute, having sex? Like, what the hell? I think, <laughs> I think you should take your hormones, and I think you should take your hormones from a a, a doctor. You know, don't go. I don't want to say the name. Don't go to Jacob down the street and get your hormones. Go to a doctor because you have to monitor your levels because a lot of hormones cause blood clots, and blood clots can travel, and blood it can stop your airway. So you know, take your home. Go to a doctor, get your hormones. You know, um. If this if this really what you get then get your name changed. Go down to the G uh, listen here. Wait a can go down to the GLCCB down there on Martin the King by the gay right aid. <laughs> go down there. <laughs> tell them me she sent you. Tell them mother sent you. Get your name changed. Get your name changed. You don't want to go to the club and you got your heels and stuff on and you got to stand in the boy line or you got to uh, give them your ID and then they look at it and they go, well, wait, don't get your name changed. Or when you're going to get a job, get your name changed. Take your hormones. Um, Skin care is, is definitely good. Skin care is definitely good. And, you know, just carry yourself like a woman because you can look like a woman and act like a, a big butch queen and that'll get you clocked. All right, my last question is like a lot lately we see in the headlines like people going to I guess you can call them pumping parties, mm. meaning like they go get what they think is silicone injected Cement. into their butt or their breasts. Did you ever experiment with that? No, I never. Um, do you know anybody that did? I did. I have. I do know a couple people. They haven't had issues because they were like I'm, you know I'm older, so they went when it, when the getting was good. When it was really silicone. Yeah, when it was you know. But um no I I haven't at all. Okay. All right. That's I don't it. knock nobody. But that you know I don't I don't recommend it at all either. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for coming by. Thank you if for having wanna, me. If people want to get in contact with you, how can they reach you? Um you can contact me on Mishi Richardson M E E S H I E on Facebook and the mother T H E underscore M O T H A on Instagram. Right. And of course, subscribe to Guys at Brunch on YouTube, on Facebook, and check us out on Radio Fire on Radio RadioOnFire.com. <laughs> Bye, Bye, guys. Oh,